there's another reaction with dienes that you need to be aware of. And that is if we take butadiene and treat it with elemental bromine. What is that going to give us? It's going to give us two products. We're going to have one that looks like this. And this. This is the one two. This is the one four. <coughs> Now, how does this occur? Mechanistically, how does this occur? All right. So what I want you to do is focus your attention on just this piece right there. Okay. Ignore this for right now. Okay. So let's... So remember, also when we... Uh, or when you took uh, Orgo 1 and you looked at a reaction, let's see here, where you treated a alkene with elemental bromine, right? Remember this? What was the first step in that mechanism? It generated a bromonium ion intermediate. Remember that? Well, that same mechanism is at play now here the first step we generate our bromonium ion and then once the bromonium ion the bromide or the second bromide so if we take this bromine right here and split it into we show how it's how it is expanded so this bromine right here went to that one. And then this bromine is the leftover one. And that leftover bromide now attacks at carbon two because the bromine carbon bond right there, that's the weakest bond. And it has the largest partial positive charge right there. Now you can go back to Orgo 1 material to delve in deeper as to why the bromide is going to attack carbon 2 in this case, or we can discuss it in class. But in general, what happens there, boom, and now we have our 1 2 product. Isn't that cool? But then we can also have the 1 4 product, and that is done by looking at this intermediate right here. And what happens is that the bromide can come in and attack at carbon four. And then you can see the cascade effect there, how the electrons, <coughs> the pi electrons here move and form a bond between carbon two and carbon three. And what has to happen next if we don't have this arrow here, we have formed a Texas carbon. So the bromide carbon bond right here has to break, giving us our 1,4 addition product. And you can read up more about this reaction if you go to this website if you'd like. But this is what I want you to know about this reaction. Okay? Just like the previous reaction where you can be under kinetic control and thermodynamic control, it applies to this reaction as well. It's the same idea. Low temperature favors the 1-2 kinetic product. High temperatures favor the 1-4 thermodynamic product.